News Center Maine's Caroline LaCour spoke with witnesses who saw the whole event unfold and joins us from the studio with more. Caroline? Hey Sam, good evening. Yeah, this all started Thursday night when residents claimed they heard gunshots outside of their window and even though an alleged suspect is in custody, they still feel on edge. I've lived in Standish my entire life and I've never experienced anything like this. I've never been so scared in my entire life. Residents of Oak Hill Road in Standish are still shaken up after a shooter showed up to their neighborhood two days in a row. So the first shot we heard, I said, you know, what, what the hell was that? Concerned for their safety, residents asked to remain anonymous. They tell New Center Maine it was Thursday night when they saw a person shooting from a parked Jeep Wrangler in front of a neighbor's house. And he just continued to fire. It was boom, 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 boom. When they called the sheriff's department, they were told deputies would be on the lookout, but that no arrests could be made. Dude, I'm so scared right now. Look. Then the next that night, the same that. happened again. The neighbor saying the alleged suspect coming back only minutes after officers left the scene. Once we realized when I zoomed in that that was him, that's when we got really scared. Deputies with the Cumberland County Sheriff's Office say they responded last night around 11 and found Aaron DiFilippo near the Jeep parked in the driveway. According to officials, he refused to cooperate with deputies and appeared drunk. Pulled up right here. You can see all the marks right here turned his Jeep right off in his lights. Then DiFilippo allegedly got back into his car and drove off, maneuvering around several officers' cars and spike strips. Police failed to catch up to him. After searching the area, both Maine State Police and the Cumberland County Sheriff's Office were able to find DiFilippo and stop his car using a pit maneuver. He was then taken into custody. I don't know what's gonna happen from here. I'm scared for my family. But residents say they feel as though their initial concerns were dismissed by deputies when they first spoke to them on Thursday and are questioning if the situation could have been handled better. How did he get right under your nose? How did he literally pull in right under your nose? Deputies say when they searched DiFilippo's car, they found gun shell casings, alcohol, and a crossbow. He is now being held on multiple charges. We did reach out to the sheriff's office, sharing the concerns we heard today, and we are now working with the captain to learn more. Live in studio, Caroline McCor, New Center, Maine.